well, my wife and I have been married for 14 years. She had two kids. I had two. So we had a blended family, and uh, they, we, our oldest, our youngest had just uh, graduated college, and we're like, wow, we're empty nesters. And um, we had had a calling the entire time we were married to adopt, but it just didn't ever seem like the right time. Mm-hmm. And... Um, a couple of things fell on our lap. We went to uh, we went to the classes. In fact, I was offered an opportunity to tour twenty six cities and uh, play with each orchestra. You know, it was a career. Wow, it was a career maker. And I just remember we were all excited about which cities. My wife, because we've been we traveled so much. Well, okay, we'll just meet here. We'll meet there. I mean, we were going through all the logistics, and we we had a what they call a home study, the DHS comes by, and it dawned on us we we can't bring in a little boy because that was our intent, eight to ten years old. We can't bring in a little boy, and then I just disappear for for half a year. That that doesn't seem right. And after a lot of soul searching, I called the promoter and I said, "Hey, uh, I have this vision of touring the world and." Everyone hearing my music and thinking I'm a great and et cetera, but I said that's not my purpose. I'm going to have to turn it down. And he said, what the hell is this purpose vision stuff? Do you want the, Do you want this opportunity or not? And I said, I want it, but I can't take it. My purpose is to give a better life to somebody else, and maybe this will align later. And to be honest with you, I thought it killed my career. I, I just knew it killed it. And um, within a certain period of time, I had reunited with my sister. Uh, we were in the foster care system and separated. And I was under the impression she had passed away. She had no idea where I was at. And somehow she tracked me down. Now, keep in mind, I thought she, she, was, she had passed away. And when you're a, a six-year-old, you don't see color. I had no idea my sister was half African-American. Wow. None. So I wasn't looking for some African-American-looking uh, female. I was just—it just didn't happen. But— she had been living within a mile of me for 15 years. So we had been going to the same grocery stores, the same convenience stores, the same drug stores this whole time and didn't know one another. She thought maybe I was in some other, you know, even when she found me, she, she was looking at my Wikipedia going, hey, well, he's probably in L.A., New York. I'm like, no, I'm just down the street. So we met at Charleston's. Um, and it wasn't long after that, um, you know, COVID was creeping up on us and I was supposed to play Carnegie Hall the first time. And three days before Carnegie Hall, New York calls and says, hey, we're shutting down. I'm like, what? I've got trucks on the way. I've got, I've got, you know, the whole crew coming up. They're all like checking into a hotel today where they're like, no, nah, not now. And I just remember being crushed, you know, dealing with the chaos of calling everyone back. And honestly, quite honestly, the, the loss of the financial loss, because you invest a lot of money into a show. And we got a call. My wife got the call, and she said, uh, she talked to me. She said, well, I um, got a call from DHS today. They've got an emergency placement. I'm like, wow, let's do this. She said, yeah. well, hang on. We wanted an 8- to 10-year-old. I said, yeah. And she said, well, it's not one, it's three. Three kids? Three kids. Yes. She goes, now, hang on. They're six and under. Let's do this. Because in my mind, I was not going to let the DHS be on their control, but I, I couldn't let them separate these kids like my sister and I had been separated. So I thought, let's not, let's not repeat history. Let's keep these kids together. We're going to bring them in. And um, it's just crazy how this life comes together. That there's three kids that live in a home off Coltrane in Edmond, Oklahoma, because someone adopted me and it led to a series of events that you reunited me with my sister telling me people shouldn't be separated and now there's three kids that aren't separated. You, you can't make that stuff up. So, yeah. Therefore, the name of this most recent album was called The Adoption Story. A full circle, you know, tribute to, to all those events. Yeah. 